All right, we're here with the solo head coach, Clyde Mathis. First of all, congratulations on the win against Southlake Curl. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about thank that you, game if you. we can. Sure. Okay, so you come out there, the team is poised, ready to go. You guys score quickly, get on the board. And then you see the defense starting to kind of let Southlake Curl move the ball very well and Kenny Hill scoring touchdowns. And what did you say to your team right before that halftime to get them to kind of even it up and go down in, in the halftime only down by three? Well, I pulled them up. We were in the second quarter, I think. It was the first or second quarter, and then they scored again. And I pulled them up, and I just told those guys, I knew this was going to kind of happen. You're jittery. Mm-hmm. You're jittery. We've never been like this before. You play in South Lake Carroll, um, you're in the quarterfinals, and it, it means so much to you to advance. But you can't worry about advancing. We got to take one play at a time. Right. You know, the only team that can beat you is yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, we've told those guys that all year long. So they settled down. And once they settled down, they started playing legal football, and um, the rest was history. And then when you guys came out in the third quarter, you saw points going back and forth, back mm-hmm. and forth, back and forth. And you had that interception throw by Desmond White. And I thought it was a critical point in the game because it could go either way from there. You know, mm-hmm. you could really kind of take yourself out of the game. But he stayed poised, and the whole offense stayed poised as well, too. Yeah, they did. They did. They knew they weren't getting the calls. They weren't getting the calls at all. Um, Desmond White, uh, uh, Des had an interception, overcame that. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought a crucial play of the game was right there. It was in the fourth quarter where they call a pass interference mm. or third quarter right, on Zach. Right. If you go back and look at the film, their receiver pulls Zach's face mask to the ground, to him, mm-hmm. on him, when mm-hmm. they throw the flag on us. Mm-hmm. So let, let's beat the same. I'm not going to complain about of course. everything yeah. else, but <laughs> I wasn't happy. I was not happy. I didn't, I didn't think things um, was um, going the way that it should have went. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, that tells you a lot about our kids because I preached to them, let me handle the rest, let me right. handle everything else and everything else to take care of itself. And they did that. They just worried about playing football. And we kept telling them we needed one stop. Just get us mm-hmm. one stop. Mm-hmm. And fortunately, they gave us two stops. Yeah. Because they gave us the, the, the pass <laughs> right. deflection. And then right. the last drive of the game, right. they gave us that last stop. So right. I, was, I was proud of those guys. Yeah, let's fast forward to right around that moment. It's close to two minutes left in the ball game. I think it's fourth and two, fourth and one. You guys don't get the, the first down. Mm-hmm. We were really surprised during the broadcast in no spot. They didn't come out. They didn't do any measurement. The ball goes back to South Lake Curl. They drive to the goal line, and you start calling your timeouts at the goal line. What are you saying to the team right before that? Well, they uh, that's a serious course, and I'm going to try to get to every last one you just asked me right there. Mm-hmm. But um, they did bring the chains out. Mm-hmm. I just thought the spot wasn't good. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was a bad spot. I really didn't. To this day, nobody can tell me that was a great spot. Yeah. I saw the spot. I was right there. Yeah. And we needed four yards. And, of course. Um, it wasn't a great spot. Mm-hmm. But uh, fortunately, our defense rose to the occasion. So they got the ball back, and I was saying to myself, God, are we going to lose by inches? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nah, mm-hmm. there's no way. Quit doubting you. Quit doubting you. So got the ball back, and they drove down there. And uh, everybody thought I called it timeout on television. Well, mm-hmm. I was asking about the timeouts. Okay. I didn't call it timeout. Okay. Uh, I didn't think South Lake had any more timeouts. Mm-hmm. They called the timeout. Mm-hmm. Now, if I would have called the timeout, it would be because we weren't lined up right. Okay. But I wanted to got them to call a timeout with three seconds on the clock yeah. kicking down. Yeah, no, yeah. South Lake called that timeout. Okay. They had three timeouts left. Mm-hmm. I think uh, it was uh, live and, and not live on mm-hmm. Fox. That's yeah. how do everybody else. Yeah, yeah I think so right too. Yeah. It was live at first, then right. I got a call that couldn't make it live, so right. that's what happened on the deal. Mm-hmm. But um, they called some South Lake called their last timeout. Mm-hmm. We brought the kids over and uh, we did some things and made some adjustments. And mm-hmm. I just, the last thing I told them, my kids is, I, Calm down. And try, I trust you guys. Mm-hmm. And you have my back. Mm-hmm. I just looked at them. Mm-hmm. They just started nodding their head up and down. Do they trust me? Yeah. And they did it. So uh, it was wonderful. It was a great stop and everything. And I'm, I'm glad it happened. And, you know, you get the stop. You win the ball game. The emotion, the fans, everybody's really elated. And then you got to carry that over now to another week of, of football against another yeah. team. A team that just beat the team that you did. The only team this season to do it besides you guys. Alan, so what's the carryover been and how's practice been this week? We've, I can't say this enough, and I, I thank God for this, that he's put us in situations all year long to handle the situation that we're going into on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Think about the Harker Heights game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think about early in the season, you, you play the trends, you play the City Hills, mm-hmm. you got to get up, down, up, right. down, right. up, up, and you play some other teams where you don't have to get so up for it, but you better, they can knock mm-hmm. you off. Now you get into this thing. We play Harker Heights, our first playoff round, playoff. 
a team where we should go beat. Right. So you got to get up for them. Right. Harder right. team up for them. Right. Then your second round, they're thinking about your second game already. It's Capel. Yeah. Right? You got to be on a high. Yeah, super. Yeah. Capel. Absolutely. Then you come back and you play um, Bowie. Yeah. So you got to get back up on a high. Mm -hmm. And then you play South Lake Carroll. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's the emotions of roller coasters mm -hmm. going up and down. So now we're here with another mo uh, roller coaster, mm -hmm. another game, another emotional batter. Mm -hmm. But this time it goes down to three seconds and we win. And you would think it would just take everything out of us right mm -hmm. now. But again, we've been here before. So right. we've conducted practice as usual. I've done some little big things, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But it's mental. If you're not mentally tough to play this ball game, and you're going to go in this ball game on a, on a low, mm -hmm. we'll get blown out right now. And those guys know that. So it's been more of a mental practice this week. And it, it, I'm glad you said that because you alluded to my next question. The gauntlet that you guys have had to go through from Bowie to Capel to South Lake Carroll and now Allen. Many, many people believe that the winner of this game should be the state champion no matter what. <laughs> uh, you know what? We're going to see because um, they're, they're, uh, you never can underestimate anything in football. Mm -hmm. you got to play the game for four quarters. So our opponents that we've had this year, mm -hmm. everybody can beat anybody. So when you get to the state ball game, if you go into that state ball game, if it's us or Allen, mm -hmm. if you think you got this over with, Houston, Lamar, or San Antonio, um, Wagner, mm -hmm. not Wagner, um, I, think, I don't even know right now. <laughs> Um, it is it is very, very confusing yeah. for us. So. Yeah, it would, would, would knock you off. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I just think that um, we have to take care of business this, mm -hmm. this Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, if, if we're fortunate enough to get there, we worry about them then. But if not, we're all focused on Allen right now. Well, I will say that from the reaction that we've seen and what people have been saying, that uh, if you guys do get the win here, I mean, you will be considered one of the best teams ever to play instead of Texas because of the teams you've beaten. I, I think that's that's would be safe to say, and I think that should be said because mm -hmm. I told a reporter yesterday from Fox, go back and look at all the schedules that have been played against all the previous teams mm -hmm. throughout the regular season in the district. When your district is raised the mm -hmm. toughest 5A division in Class 5A. Mm -hmm. Then you go back and look at the top teams in the state of the nation that we played in the playoffs. Right. Who has done that? Yeah, exactly. Who has yeah, done exactly. that? So, if that's possible, everything works, I really do believe that right there. Right, we thank you for your time. We look forward to uh, coming up on Saturday, 6 p.m. for Allen. And good luck. Hey, and I hope you guys get a lot more listeners than you did last week. I know it was the, a record it for was, you guys. Yeah, it was huge. So let's yeah. try to break it again this week. All right, thank you again. Thank you. All right, Appreciate Coach Cloud Mathis, Southern Eagles.